Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nino Sport, man. This is Leicester City Career Mode. This is episode number nine. Thank you so much for the support in episode eight, man. I really appreciate it again. Improved gaming, shout out, dude. Thank you so much for your support, Domika. Thank you so much for your support, and everyone else, Flecky. Everyone who's been supporting me, uh, thank you. I uh, thank you, guys. And we have good news. FIFA 20 career mode, FIFA 21 career mode news came out. I'm happy about it so far, but I don't want to be too excited about it because I know what may happen. We might find ourselves disappointed on the release day, but the features that they added in the game, I really love them. I need them. There is a room for improvement, of course, but then I love what I see so far. Without wasting any time, match previews, Everton away, uh, Palace at home, Arsenal away, Watford away, Spurs, it's in Wembley, it's a neutral venue, it's the FA Cup semi-finals, hopefully we can overcome Spurs, man, they've been a torture to my team this season, I'm struggling to beat them. But Everton away, uh, we might come back with a draw or a win. I think it's winnable that game. Palace at home, a definite win. We need to win that one. Arsenal away, okay, we can take a D there. But we need a win at Watford. I'm not taking anything less than that. I will be very frustrated if I drop points there. Then we have spares of which it can go either way. It's a cup game without wasting any time. Everton away. Gentlemen's, I'm here at Everton at Goodison Park. We're facing Everton. Let's look at our starting 11 quickly. We have Barco, Vardy, Perez, Madison, Tillemans, Ndidi, Chilwell, Sayoncho, Boateng, and Pereira. Schemakal at goal. Boateng has been playing well lately. I hope he can continue with his form, man. He's been very good. Let's look at uh, Everton quickly. We have Sims and Nias. I don't know why Sims is playing. Davies, I like Davies. Richardson is going to be a problem. Dine is a good player. Sadiba is also a good player. I don't know that you miss it. But pick for that goal is always a difficult keeper to beat. Everton lose the ball in the middle of the park. The pass goes straight to Vardy. Vardy with a chance. First chance, they finish it brilliantly. We are one nil up inside 10 minutes of the first half. That's a brilliant finish by Jamie, man. He's been a wonderful, wonderful player for us in the first season. But Everton, we're not going to sit down. A, co a cross coming in seems with a header. He missed the target. We came back again in the 30th minute with Tillemans in the area. He took a shot, but Pickford come up top again. I'm sorry about the noise outside again. I'm staying next to the main road. So right now it's very busy. But Barco coming inside the 18 yard area, that should have been a penalty to me. Yes, it was a soft tackle, but it should have been a penalty. But Everton in the second half, they started brightly. Davis with the chance, he took a shot. Goalkeeper made a save and it was well defended. Then we said, okay, we need a surety goal. Barco came forward. He met Madison. Madison with the ball. Madison is in the area. You know what's next. They scored James Madison with a goal. It is to nil. Good, good game. It's really a good game. Good way to start an episode. But 63rd minute, Everton coming forward. A ball out wide, a cross coming in, a goalkeeper should have come out for that, but Sims miss. Davis coming forward again. They need a goal. Sims with another shot, he missed the target. What happened to Kelvin Lu? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember he went to, he's on loan. Then again, the ball went to Sims. That's a shot coming in again. This Sims was a problem to us, but at all, good ball. He finds Prayat, who scored in the roof of the net. Close range finish. Empty net as well. He makes it 3 0, of which is a good result for us. That's the end of the game. Dominate, uh, we were dominated in the ball position. Again, we are struggling with ball position. Simulation game against Presta Palace. 
We managed to get a win 2-1 Madison and Perez with the goal Soyuncho and Boteng. Both my center backs with the yellow cards. I don't like that. Mayer scored the only goal for Palace. They substituted uh, Sako for Kehel. I think Miljajovic for Koyate. We substituted Iannaccio and Priyat. Next game, the big one as well. It's Arsenal. Where are we going? We are at at um Arsenal Stadium. I forgot the name now. Emirates Stadium. Starting eleven, nothing changes. Still the same starting eleven. Vadi Atal and Bako up front. Madison in a camp position. Tillman Didi, Chilwell, Sayuncho, Boteng and Pereira at the back. Kaspar, Schmeichel at goal. Looking at Arsenal, it's Aubameyang, Sabitza, Vitolo, Salabas, Pepe, Mario Gaspar, Socrates, David Luiz, and Marcelo. How did they get Marcelo? That remains questionable. That's another department FIFA need to sort out. Salabas finds Aubameyang, neatly finished by Aubameyang. On I don't know who was calling me. I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry about it. I don't know who's that. Where are we? Another mistake at the back, but Soyuncho with the brilliant save. The ball up forward now. It's with Atal. Atal. Atal with the shot. Good save by the goalkeeper. Atal with the header. Good save by the goalkeeper. Another tackle. Oh my god. That was terrible. At the wrong time. The ball to Aubameyang. Good pass. Gave it to Vetolo. Vetolo to Sabitza. Sabitza who scored. It is 2 now. Jesus Christ. Are we being destroyed by Arsenal right now? I don't like it. Second half. We are struggling with ball position. Jimmy Vardy got a chance, went into the area. He just messed it up. Gave it to Marcelo and the referee said he, there was a foul there. I don't know where was a foul there. There was no foul, honestly speaking. Vasquez, Lucas Vasquez, they destroyed Madrid, isn't it? Good cross coming in from Lucas Vasquez, but Salabas miss. Ceballos, not Salabas. I don't know why I like to call him that. Nicolas Pepe coming forward. Two minutes left. He took a shot. Goalkeeper makes a save. Kespa Michael, what, what, what the hell was that? But the ball is out wide with Barnes, who just gave it straight to Mario Gaspar and straight to Pepe. But the referee said enough is enough now. Next game, it's Watford away. It's another simulation match. Hopefully we get the positive result because we already dropped points at Emirates Stadium. We can afford to drop more points. Oh my God, it's a 2-2 draw and Evans have an injury. Iannaccio and Mandy with goals. Dan Trivelli and Defalo with their goals. Oh, they still Defalo in this world. Maybe I need to consider him. Next game. Final game of the episode. We're facing Spurs at Wembley. It's the semi-final of the FA Cup. It's Paco, Vardy, Perez, Madison, Didi, Tillemans, Chilwell, Soyuncu, Boateng and Pereira, Kasper, Schmeichel, the captain and the goalkeeper of the team. He is the leader. He's been doing well. He's only, uh, I think he's 32, 33, something, something like that, or he's 31, I'm not sure, but I know he's over 30, I think he's 33. They have Kane, Danny Ali, Son, Morda, Mor Dombella, La Sosa, I like Dombella. I like Dombella, honestly speaking. I might buy Dombella in the next um, transfer window, of which will be next season. But we started the game well, passing the ball around. Indeed, he gave it to Ayoso Perez. Ayoso Perez, good ball, gave it to James Madison, but won with the save. Okay, Loris is not around. Maybe that's another good, good, good chance for us. But the ball went to Kane, man. 24th minutes, Harry Kane. 
Good finish. Obvious Hurricane don't miss those. Spurs came back again, 32nd minute. They coming forward. They find Kane again. Kane with a shot. Kasper Schmeichel, the leader of the team with the brilliant save. Spurs second half. They are touching it like they mean to win this game. Kasper Schmeichel's again with a save. He was working over time. Dombela, my favorite player. Dombela with a good pass. He gave it to Harry Kane with another shot. Could save Kasper Schmeichel again. Madison. Madison tries a ball. He lost it. Dele Ali. They coming forward. Spurs were camping on my half. To Kane again with another long range shot. How many long range shots Kane scored against you guys in this game? It seems like every time I play Kane is gonna score these bangers. He touched the ball anywhere near the 18 yard area, he scores. Once he takes a shot, it's going straight to the net. I don't know why, man. It's Jimmy Vardy. Jimmy Vardy, he turns. He's still looking for options, no options, but Jimmy Vardy is still going. It is 2 0, it's 83rd minutes. Jimmy Vardy makes it 2 1. He grabs the ball quickly. The leader, he is another leader in the team, man. He's very good. Look at that. He just trying through the players and then dead ball. But Bray, in the last minute, in the 89 minute, not the last minute, Bray dribbles Spurs, Spurs team, get into the area. He couldn't take a shot. Vaughn was there, but I took so long to take a shot. I think it's my mistake again. Jamie Vardy, two minutes added on, but we're gonna run out of time here. Jamie Vardy, the ball out wide, gave it to Ricardo. Ricardo, good cross by Ricardo, good defending by Underworld. The ref is said enough is enough. That's the end of the game. That's how we lose against Spurs. That's the end of our journey in the FA Cup, man. Spurs beat us, Man City beat Wolves. I wonder who's gonna win this cup. Finally, Spurs and Man City. Okay, I don't care. Even if we're not in the final, because at the end of the day, Man City were going to beat us. Let's look at the league table quickly. Leicester City is sitting on the sixth position with the game in hand, of course. 71 points. Man United are above us with two. only one point different. We have Spurs on fourth position in the Champions League position with the game in hand. 74 points, three points gap. We have Chelsea in the third with 85, then City on the second with uh, 88, 95 for Liverpool. They already won the league, isn't it? There's nothing Man City can do. I know they are like four games they have, but it's not guaranteed they're gonna win it all and Liverpool is gonna lose their games. Bottom half of the league table, Southampton, 5 wins now, only 2 draws, 28 defeats, that's shambolic. We only have 3 games left in the season, remember, so we're running out of time. Southampton is running out of time, they're gonna be relegated already. Let's look at the match review. Winding away to end episode 9, knocked out of the FA Cup in the semi-finals, man. We were so, so close. But then, okay, life goes on. We have something to fight for. We need to fight for Champions League now. Our main focus is going to be Champions League. Match reviews, episode 9. Everton away. 3-0 win. Good result for us. Good display by the boys. Second game, a simulation, Palace at home, 2-1 win. Another good result, 6 points are in the bag. Third game of the episode, Arsenal away. We got a defeat, 2-0. Not really happy with the way we played there. We struggled throughout the game. Uh, nothing could go our way in that game. It was like a struggle all over. Then the fourth game, it was Watford away. We managed to get a draw of 2-2. Very upset with that. Uh, I wasn't expecting a draw in that game, honestly speaking. Uh, but then we move again. Uh, last game of the episode, Spurs at Wembley, semi-finals of the FA Cup. We got defeat. It's a loss. It's 2-1 defeat. 
again nothing could happen in that game we struggled in like in the middle field we were struggling we couldn't hold the ball our back line is always a little bit shaky but we move we move guys um other than that thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new please share on your social media thank you in advance your boy signing out man bye